age 19, standing at 165 centimetres with an official weight of 109.8 pounds with a fight record of 60 fights. And in the blue corner at the age of 30, we oh well, we're about to get underway, but we have got Yod Payak. He is standing 160 centimeters tall. He has over 65 bouts. About to start around number one of our second bout of the afternoon, Robocop or Ud Udon taking on Yod Payak, Sojo Lekmungon. Okay, round number one. That is the bell and the timer. Will it be as quick as the first fight in the first round? We will see. Robocop starts with a nice tip to the thigh of Yod Payak. Yod Payak looks very calm. He looks a lot shorter in comparison to Robocop. I'm curious to see how Robocop uses his range to his advantage. But a very nice start by both fighters. We have got another classic southpaw against an orthodox. So generally speaking, with a such a height difference... Generally, the shorter fighters will be looking to get in close and damage that front leg. So, if I my crystal ball is clear on this one, perhaps Yod Payak will be looking to take out that front leg. And just as I speak, he does. Your crystal ball is showing well right now. At Robocop, will he be wise to this? Both fighters will be wanting to get on the outside lead leg of their opponent to land the power shot. So when it's Southpaw against Orthodox, it's a battle of the footwork to land your power shot. And as you see there, Robocop is already stepping to his right, and that's exactly what he needs to do to send that left kick. And there it is, just swing and a miss by the Robocop. Good evasion there, because I think Yod Payak felt the first one straight up on the arms. He's trying to take out that punching power of the shorter puncher in Yod Payak. And a beautiful left kick landed by Robocop. Mean intentions, and it lands to the top of the ribcage of Yod Payak. And Yod Payak now trying to close the distance, like we said, and take that lead leg out. Moves around to the left, goes for the oh, lead leg that? and the back leg. Beautiful strategy there by Yod Payak. A beautiful move to step into the left and then throw that right to the front leg. Very nice move by Yod Payak as he eats a right kick by Robocop and a teep to the thigh as well. And just as I said, Jimmy, this fight will be about skill and strategy and we're already seeing that here in the first round. Puncher versus long kicker. And it Orthodox against the Southpaw, always the best ones. It's an absolute chess match. Straight for the outside there from Robocop, trying to catch the teep there from Yod Payak. There it is, that explosive left kick straight into the clinch, and Yod Payak takes Robocop to the ground. And that is the end of the first round of our second bout of the afternoon. The red corner about to take on his opponent in the blue corner. He is only 30 years young, but of course, just that little bit older, Mr. Yod Payak. Second round. Firing off the punches already there from Yod Payak, trying to mix it up to the body. Take out the gas tank from Robocop. Robocop firing his own artillery there with that left kick on the outside leg kick again. And he's very tricky, Yod Payak, when he throws that lead kick to the, the front leg of Robocop. He disguises it. He almost uses his jab as a smoke screen to disguise that front kick. Beautiful move, but Robocop has had enough and throws one back of his own. You can see there Yod Payak just measuring the distance to offload a power shot. Just popping that jab out, popping that jab out. Looking to take the head off of Robocop. Damage the internal server. Yeah, Yod Payak constantly flicking that jab out. And I think Yod Payak is using it almost just as a rangefinder, but also to blind his opponent to throw that lead kick. He's doing everything he can to trick his opponent as he throws a nice right hand downstairs. And Yod Payak just slowly edging forward and closing the distance. But Robocop throws a downwards elbow that just misses the target. And Burfire is now in the clinch. Knee for knee at this point. A locking up a referee brings them back into center ring. Yod Payak looking to take on the outside there. Just moving around, edging ever forward. Robocop anticipating with that beautiful teep there. 
Very nicely done to use his range, and he lands a nice head kick upstairs, but he eats a right hand to the body. Robocop definitely took some damage to his armor then, but Yod Payak constantly closing the distance, edging forward. He throws a right kick downstairs. Robocop has now got Yod Payak on the back foot ever so slightly. Here we are, back in center ring. Beautiful left kick there from Robocop, but not quite getting through there. Yod Payak's defense, very strong there, taking to the body. And the footwork of Yod Payak to fire a right hand downstairs. He gets his lead leg on the outside and sends it down the middle. As we see it once again, Yod Payak has absolutely teared up that front leg of Robocop. Rob Robocop sent him flying just a moment ago. Very good strategy sitting on that back foot. Pretty typical of a southpaw kick for kick. Oh, a big head kick but goes to the canvas. Bit of a slip there but a good dump from Yod Payak. Yod Payak, lead hook to leg kick there. Classic Moy Matt stylist taking out that back leg. That is the end of the second round, folks. Make a turbo mode in this third round, Jimmy. Absolutely reminiscent of the real Robocop round. Number three underwear. Robocop takes on Yod Payak. Yod Payak in the blue, Robocop in the red. Both fighters a very fast start very early on. Beautiful step up knee. Robocop looking to get into the clinch but gets swept by Yod Payak. Yod Payak definitely proving his worth as the veteran in the ring. Both fighters involved in the clinch and Robocop does a very good job to just nullify any action in that clinch as he throws a beautiful knee to the chest of Yod Payak. And here we are in round three. I'm expecting this to just be three minutes of clinch battle here. Racking up the points there from our Robocop in the red. At least six knees sent up by Robocop. Yod Payak now closing the distance. Both fighters powwowing with the jab as he jumps up with a double, triple left kick by Robocop. Steps in for the knee. Goes inside the clinch. Good positioning there by Robocop. Wrenching down on that neck. Trying to control it and falling on top in that last clinch exchange. Very good little performance there by a Robocop in the red. As he eats a check hook by Yod Payak as he dances around with a jab and a left hook. Here's Yod Payak setting up that right kick and right hand. He lands clean and there it is as Robocop charges in. Good turn but good lock onto the body there from a Robocop. The computing system is a working. Very nicely done as Robocop now charges forward and Yod Payak throws a right elbow upstairs and a right hand downstairs follows as Robocop charges at Yod Payak. Server is updating with that body lock. Knee for knee at this point. Referee brings them back. And Robocop relentlessly just jumping forward with knees. The crowd are going wild as Yod Payak nearly sweeps him but throws a right hand upstairs, which lands clean on Robocop's chin. And Robocop is just walking towards these shots of Yod Payak. Robocop's got to be careful because Yod Payak could shut down the computer and restart it with those heavy punches. Absolutely, those right hands were clean on the chin of Robocop as he jumps in with another knee. And the desperation of Robocop, but Yod Payak is the one that ends up on the canvas. I think Robocop has no respect for Yod Payak and he's trying to end it now in this third round as he marches forward and jumps again with a knee. Has Robocop seen a weakness we have not seen? As the referee is now trying to break them free, Robocop does not want to let go and that is the end of round number three. Maybe some bad blood absolutely spilling over this canvas right now, Joe. I'm excited to go into the fourth round. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. You're going to keep charging with the knee. He looks menacing. He looks mean. And we are in round number four, ladies and gentlemen. In the red corner, Robocop takes on Yod Payak in the blue corner as Yod Payak already on the canvas. Measuring the distance here from Yod Payak, just popping that jab, jab out, looking for the heavy hands and the kick. And Robocop just charges and takes Yod Payak down as he lands on top of his opponent. Robocop having to be held back by the referee. He is relentlessly trying to take out Yod Payak. 
as he attempts a big left kick upstairs. And again, the evasion of Jod Payak. Beautifully done as he catches that kick and lands a left hand upstairs. Beautiful long knee there from a Robocop. Pushing Jod Payak against the ropes. Back in the centre ring now to continue the action here at SKS. Kiat Pet Promotions. And Beautiful. you can see with the upcoming fight in bout number three, Jokari will be taking on Han as we see Jod Payak go to the canvas again. Beautiful little catch kick to teep there from a Robocop. Robocop sends another knee to the chest of Jod Payak as they both get involved in the clinch once again. The referee having a difficult time peeling both of these fighters away from one another. A left hook lands upstairs by Jod Payak and a right hand just misses the target. Both fighters are tick for tack right now, sending haymakers into one another. But Jod Payak sends a right hand to the chin of Robocop here. A right hand downstairs. Robocop showing more intelligence than the latest ChatGBT update at the moment. Beautiful strategy, elbow for elbow here, knee for knee. All action here at Omnoy Stadium. Fighting for position in the clinch, backed into the corner as our referee breaks them apart and they're not letting go. Fantastic dirty strategy there by both gentlemen. Robocop with that long left knee straight into the midsection of Yopayak. Yopayak looking for the kick to the punch. And a nice right kick lands by Yodpayak, but Robocop throws an elbow of his own. How long to go on this round as Yodpayak throws another flurry upstairs. Robocop's chin has been tested in this fight. And both fighters have thrown everything but the kitchen sink. And can we see some blood on Yodpayak's face? We cannot see clearly where that blood is coming from, but it looks like Yodpayak might be cut in the middle of the forehead. Bigger split than the Grand Canyon here at the moment. Looking very ferocious, raining blood. Knee for knee. Fighting for position here in the corner. Good little stall there from Jod Payak lifting that knee on the inside of the thigh. What a, an amazing fourth round there, Jimmy. A lot of the time, try and trick his opponent, lay that trap. Very nicely done, but it's nice to see that both fighters wanted to hug. As we go into round number five in the blue corner, we have Yod Payak. In the red corner, we have Robocop. Robocop just tapping that hand down, trying to set up the long left kick. You can see him anticipating. There it is, doubling it up. Yod Payak finding it hard to get that range in. Absolutely a battle of the Rangers so far. Robocop now dancing on that back foot as Jod Payak tries to close the distance set up that big right hand that he likes to throw as both fighters now in the clinch. But a knee guard used by Jod Payak to nullify any more action. Yeah, nice little push on the hip from that inside thigh from Robocop. Sets up the kick again. Eggs him on. And you can see Yopayak is determined to try and put Robocop away. But as the same way Robocop is trying to put Yopayak out, it's been a battle of the haymakers in that fourth round. And a nice right hand downstairs and a right hand upstairs by Yopayak as both fighters once again end the ropes in the clinch. And you can see Robocop's corner there telling him to continue the kicks. Just draw him in for the kicks. Robocop now closing the distance. Jod Payak on the back foot this time. Robocop hunting his opponent down, trying to get him into the corner before he sends that left kick to the body like he likes to throw. And we've seen him dancing on the... F and there it is, the left kick, as he gets tangled in the ropes. He's got more flight points than a Visa card in this fight. Robocop flying into action now, trying to draw Jod Payak into his game. And both fighters now completely out of distance, trying to dance around one another. Less than a minute to go. Both fighters just trying to take some time off now. Can hear the crowd going wild right here at Omnoy Stadium, the heart of Muay Thai and Samutakon. It looks like both fighters may think they've won this one. Who do you think's got it, Joe? It's too early to tell. But I am impressed by the young Robocop taking on the 10-year-old, 10 older. The 10-year-old, <laughs> but I got what you mean. <laughs> that would have been an interesting matchup. Robocop 
just does not care. And a very nice fight by both of these fighters. And we are going to go to the judges' scorecard. Both fighters embrace one another. Let us know in the comments who do you think's won that fight. Who's at the end? Both thought they had it. But in fact, both of them had it. A very beautiful fight. And I was entertained. I'd like to see them run it back, Joe. I think that definitely calls for a rematch, Jimmy. What an amazing display of Muay Thai. A puncher versus a strategist. Beautiful work there by Robocop with those long, long kicks and the step-up knees and the heavy punches there from the shorter, older Yodpayak yep. showing his veteran moves. Absolutely. It was just heavy hands, but Robocop's relentlessness just constantly moving forward. But he, he hit so many big shots. But one thing is for sure, Robocop has a chin of steel. And I think he was very much tested in this fight. He went five rounds.